In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. I am Father Peter Raj, pastor at uh, Blessed Sacrament and Newman La Crosse. So today, we are, we are joining together and offering this Mass for you, for your intentions. So, to celebrate this Holy Mass in a holy manner, let us call to mind our failures. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of the world. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, constantly accomplish the Paschal mystery within us, that those you were pleased to make new in holy baptism may, under your protective care, bear much fruit and come to the joy, choice of life eternal. We, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Peter and Barnabas had proclaimed the good news to that city and made a considerable number of disciples, they returned to Lystra and to Iconium and to Antioch. They strengthened the spirits of the disciples and exhorted them to preserve in faith, saying, It is necessary for us to undergo many hardships to enter the kingdom of God. They appointed elders for them in each church, and with prayer and fasting, commended them to the Lord in whom they had put their faith. Then they traveled through Pisidia and reached Pamphylia, after proclaiming the word at Praga, they went down to Antalya. From there they sailed to Antioch, where they had been commended to the grace of God for the work they had now accomplished. And when they arrived, they called the church together and reported what God had done with them and how he had opened the door of faith to the Gentiles. The word of the Lord. and mercy who 
A reading from the book of Revelation. Then I, John, saw a new heaven and a new earth. The former heaven and the former earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. I also saw the holy city, a new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, God's dwelling is with the human race. He will dwell with them, and they will be his people, and God himself will always be with them as their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes, and there shall be no more death or mourning, wailing or pain, for the old order has passed away. The one who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. <laughs> when Judas had left them, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and God will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little while longer. I give you a new commandment, love one another. As I have loved you, you so you also should love one another. This is how all will know that you are my disciples if you, if you have love for one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, from today's Gospel, we understand that for Jesus, the essential mark of distinction between a Christians and non-Christians is not in the way we dress, but in the way we live. When God delivered the Israelites from Egypt, he gave them the Ten Commandments to guide their relationship with one another. In the actual living out of the commandments, the people deviated, and as a, as a consequence, hatred, war, selfishness, and wickedness became the order of the day. The poor were neglected, lepers were excluded, and Gentiles were discriminated. In this situation, Jesus came and taught his disciples about the new commandment of love, which recognizes everyone as a child of God with rights and dignity. At the end of this earthly ministry, he reminded them, I give you a new commandment, love one another, as I have loved you, so you also should love one another. 
This is how all will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. With us, Jesus declared love as the identity of believers. Yes, dear brothers and sisters, love is the Christian identity. Love is the Christian uniform. Love is the Christian habit. If you are wearing a habit of love, you are in. If you are not wearing love as a habit, you are out. Therefore, as we celebrate the love of Jesus, which gave us this Mass, let us realize that we are called to make a difference in the world through our love and ask His grace that we may love others as Jesus loved us. Amen. I believe in one God. He was crucified and despised, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory, with living and the dead, and his kingdom will not know again. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the world to come. Amen. Christ the new Adam has destroyed sin and recreated us in His image. United to him, let us offer our prayers to God the Father. For Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the elected leaders of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those whose lives are endangered because of war, poverty, abortion, euthanasia, or other persecutions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick or suffering, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And for the intentions submitted by our viewers at home, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. God of love, all life comes from you and finds fulfillment by returning to you. Grant that the prayers we make in Christ's name hasten the coming of your kingdom and assist us in glorifying your name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
pray brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father may the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good is holy church O God who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead grant we pray that as we have come to know your truth we may make it ours by a worthy way of life we ask this through Christ our Lord Amen. the Lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts let us give thanks to the Lord our God it is right and just it is truly right and just a duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you O Lord but in this in this time above all to Lord you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed by the oblation of his body he brought the sacrifices of old the fulfillment in the reality of the cross and by commending himself to you for our salvation showed himself the priest the altar and the lamb of sacrifice therefore overcome with the paschal joy every land every people exults in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim <laughs> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take thus, all of you, and eat of it. But this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. But this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring it, and bring it to the fullness of charity. Together with the Francis R. Pope, William R. Bishop, 
and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. All who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we merit to be co heirs, eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and save from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter my life, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with the heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah! Christ is risen. Happy Easter, everybody. We are so glad that you join us in prayer and in worship each and every Sunday. We certainly are grateful. We ask you to continue your support and to continue to be with us every, every Sunday of the year and especially during this Easter season. God be with you and happy Easter.